is no about the 420 vape zone every day what's up guys up it's troy from 420 vape zone and today i have something very different for you we're gonna do a haul unboxing style video and in this box i got something new and if you can guess what it is i'll give you three guesses if you can guess what it is i'll open it for you first guess nope it's not a vape it's not a vape I'm not doing any vapes on this this video today next guess nope it's not weed it's not weed no vapes no weed what's in this box it's far more dangerous hmm how about that nailed it this box candy sugar this is a box from lofty pursuits and you're probably asking yourself why the hell is this weed vape youtuber reviewer making content about candy well let me tell you something let me tell you something Okay, I kind of flubbed the intro when I did the recording live, so I'm going to redo it right now. The candy is from Lofty Pursuits, and Lofty Pursuits is a YouTube channel and a candy store in Florida. You should definitely check it out if you're interested. Old school, traditional candy. I'm a big fan, and it turns out that a lot of people in the Discord sessions are also big fans of both candy and Lofty Pursuits. Uh, it's been amazing how many people are already familiar with Lofty Pursuits in the Discord, and I thought it'd be a, a fun little share, so... This is a fun video outside of my norm. I hope you'll like it. I joined his Patreon uh, and I got my first order here. Let's skip right into it. To make this video more interesting, I'm going to taste test most of them, I think. And I'm going to partake a little mm -hmm, in between. That way I can refresh my mouth and uh, I'll let you know how each one tastes. Now, spoiler alert, the one right here on the, on the top is my favorite. This one was my favorite from last time. Uh, this is Rebecca the Raccoon. And you should really watch this guy's videos, especially this one. This is one of my favorite videos. Go watch this video to see how he makes this candy because each candy has a little has a little raccoon face on it. The flavor of the raccoons is lemongrass, blackberry, and plum. These little image candies, they're made by hand with just sugar and, and flavor and color. They're beautiful. Oh my God. And so good. The flavor, the flavor of the lemongrass really, really pops. It's almost like a, an Asian twang. I absolutely love, love the flavor of these Rebecca the Raccoon candies. It's such a wild mix of, of berry and lemon. It's really hard to describe because it, it doesn't taste like a typical candy, but it's very candy-like. It, it's not like savory or anything like that. Really good. Mm. What I love about the Rebecca the Raccoon image candies is the center dissolves faster than the outside. So you get like little holes going through it. So it's really fun to play around with in your mouth and shoot little spit holes through it and stuff like that. I apologize for this. Okay, as promised. All right, now that my mouth is clear, from the Rebecca the Raccoon flavors. I'm not gonna look at my my order list because I don't I don't recall exactly what I ordered. I'm just gonna grab from the top though. And uh, what the hell are these? I don't think I ordered these. Peach lemonade. I think this is one of the ones that you get for being on your on the Patreon, like a surprise sampling. Because I don't recall ordering the peach lemonade. Sounds delicious. So these little candies look they look like little sours, little heart shapes. I'm gonna. Try the green one first. Oh, that's so good. I was worried that the, that they would be slightly different flavors and that the green one would be more lemonade and the orange one would be more peachy. Oh shit, maybe they are. They might be different flavors. I can't tell now. Damn, really good taste though. Subtle peach, subtle lemonade, really good. Damn. I always wanna resist chewing my hard candy. I'm not sure if it's better to chew them or not. I'm sure the dentist will say no. But, I mean, is it better to chew the sugar and cram it into your teeth holes or suck on it for longer, letting your teeth marinate in that sugar juice, you know? Like, what's better for your teeth? I don't know. I don't know. I kind of like the rush of flavor and the texture that you get from chewing. I don't like picking the sticky bits out of your molars as much as I don't want to be. 
I think I'm team chew here. I think I'm team chew. Two thumbs up for the peach lemonade. Probably wouldn't buy them again. Like they're not wow worthy, but nice and tasty. If you like peach, that's a nice subtle little taste. So what's cool about this guy is he makes candy the traditional way using traditional tools like his roller press and his things. They're like made in the 1800s and it's badass. It's badass. He, he does his videos in a way where it's really relaxing to see. You see the whole process and my favorite part is at the end like when they're like like breaking the little candies or they're uh and they're breaking them all apart. This is a fun one. This one's called Madness. And I bought this one last time again. This is another rebuy. This is my daughter's favorite. So I'm not going to open it right now and try it. I'm actually going to give it to her uh, with the seal. Uh, but these little guys, these are little little round drops. There's actually four different flavors of candy in this bag that I'm about to read off to you, thinking that it's all of those flavors mixed together for one candy. It's like peach, vanilla, pomegranate, green apple, watermelon, lychee, and raspberry. My daughter loved them. So I'm going to keep them for her. I'm not going to try one right now. I'm going to pass on this one. This one's really fun. This is the Image Variety Pack. So all the Image candies have different flavors and different images. Like that little peachy one down there looks like a little butt. <laughs> I like it. Every one of these is going to taste a little bit different. That's really cool to me. That's really freaking cool. There's a banana in there. I see some strawberries. I'm told that their strawberry candy is phenomenal and I actually haven't tried their strawberry candy. So I'm actually going to open this one and pop one of those strawberry image candies. Oh, it smells so unique. Like the whole bag. Oh, there's a watermelon on top too. I see grapes. I see peach. I see blueberries. Okay. Okay. This one immediately opened up through the center. It dissolved in the center and made the the texture really fun. It's like a little candy filter. Not a super strong strawberry. Not like those little candies where they actually have the strawberry wrapper with the green twisty. Not quite that potent. You know, there's no strawberry jam in the center. I'm excited to explore what else is in here. It's gonna be a fun one. This, and these are $5 or $5.99 a bag. So really nice value. If you're in Tallahassee, Florida, you can actually go to this guy's shop and buy his candy right there. Avoid shipping fees. Mm. Mm. Chewing it really uh, gave an eruption of flavors and also textures. The textures of the candies were slightly different. The outside was a little more dissolved and the center little strawberry part had a little more chew. You know, the outside bits has it had a little more chew. Kind of neat that the uh, the candy has different textures as it as it breaks apart in your mouth. Wow. In this video, I'm gonna eat a shit ton of candy. <laughs> oh, this is cool. The uh, my shipping paper appears to have a handprint or a penis print of some sort. That's fun. God damn. I say good night. Next candy. Randomize. I'm just going to grab what's on top here. Uh, what the hell is this? Sugar-free root beer. Hell yeah. I wanted to try what their sugar-free stuff is like because all of their candy starts with straight sugar. So what the heck is this? Ingredients. Isomalt. Citric acid. Malic acid. Natural and artificial flavors. Natural and artificial colors. Sucralose. Made on shared equipment. Oh yeah, shared with sugar, obviously. Okay, let's try, in case you're diabetic or trying to avoid sugar, I know sugar is very dangerous, so crazy that YouTube allows all of this sugar content. It smells just like root beer candy. It smells just like a root beer barrel. Oh, God. It has more flavor than a root beer barrel. 
Uh, there's more more spice to this. I don't know what you use for flavor. I don't know, is it root beer, just root beer flavoring or what? But it doesn't taste like root beer flavoring. It tastes like, like the authentic, like roots or whatever, like whatever, like anise and whatever is used to make root beer. This is really good. It's almost creamy, slippery in the mouth. Like I feel like I could, it could go flying if I get it too close to my lips. It's not quite the same texture as the other candies. I don't even know, I don't even know if I want to chew it, but. Oh, look at that. You do the thing where it's like chewing tobacco. You got it down on your lower lip, like chewing tobacco. You should go to the dentist like this. You go to the dentist with like a candy in your mouth, but just keep it like down on your teeth. On my teeth? Turn it color? Oh God. All this candy is changing my teeth colored. Uh, I gotta hide my teeth the whole rest of the video. Otherwise my teeth are gonna be a, a weird meme. It chews more like broken glass. Oh, but the flavor comes back. It's almost got like a menthol kind of kiss, you know? Mm. See, I can feel like one of these, like one or two of these a day. Like these are good candies. A lot of flavor. A lot of, uh, wow. Like a lot of mouth on this candy. This one's got a lot of mouth. Not all of them had this much mouth. That the lemonade one, you could eat a bunch of those and then be cool. This one, you eat one, you're done. Like you need some water, like brush your teeth, something. You know, this one's got a lot of mouth. The Rebecca one, the flavor, leaves a blossom in your mouth and you, you, you're you good for like 40 minutes. It's it's like a, like an after after dinner mint, you know? And, that, and that, that's kind of how I've been treating it. So I've been eating those Rebecca's, you know, two or three a day. Boink. Gotta wash, wash the flavor away. I see something at the bottom of the pile that I'm super excited about. The blue raspberry sours. I'm not going to touch those yet. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pull these out first. These are Tutti Fruities. I got to try one of these. Let me give you an up close on this candy. Nice little spirals in there. I watched the video on this one. Super cool how they were made. Yep, I, I taste the, like the blue raspberry flavor, the cherry flavor, hints of banana. Mm. It's a colorful, colorful flavor. Really nice. Really damn nice. I love that the outside is shiny and uh, glossy, whereas the inside dissolves more and becomes more of like a, a gummy nougat, but it's not it's not nougat. Dissolves different, has more air, has more air. That's how they make the white candy. They stretch the candy on the hook and it becomes white as it gets more and more air bubbles worked into it. So then when you're eating the candy, the white candy has more air in it. So it dissolves faster can feel it and then the candy becomes kind of spongy and you get bursts of flavor as more parts dissolve it's really fun candy all old school like new candies and made like this i want to take it out of my mouth and show you but i'm gonna save you from that thanks the outside layer peeled away leaving an inside core neat it was a fun way for that candy to break away break up what's next all right we got a citrus mix Another image candy. This one is a variety of different citrus fruits, oranges, lemons, limes, grapefruits. There's one with like a yellow outside and a pink on the inside. I don't know what that one is. Each of these is a different flavor. And it says what the flavors are on the website, but I'm not gonna not gonna do that. I'm not, I'm not gonna open this one right now. It looks great, they look wonderful. The next root beer. So these little root beer guys, this is a different root beer. This one is 
not sugar-free. So this one has the real shit. Got the real shit here. And this one's an image candy. So this one's made with a little root beer mug. Oh, it smells. Whoa. Damn. This one smells a little more root beery than the other one. Here's the little, <laughs> little root beer mug. Isn't that cute? It's so cute. It's a little cute root beer mug. Same thing on both sides. It's got a hole in it. It's got a hole in it. But uh, hey, no refunds. I imagine that that hole is in a bunch of them, but not all of them. Like because it's like one hole stretched out real thin. Definitely sweeter than the other one. Obviously with sugar. If you're one of those people that likes sucking on it until the very end and just letting it get smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller until there's nothing. This one might infuriate you. Um, actually, a lot of these image candies might you might not like because they when they like break apart, they actually break apart. This one's really fun because like it, the, the little root beer thing broke out of the ring and there was like a ring of candy and a little wad of root beer. Really fun. Really fun to eat. Uh, fun to chew up. Really good flavor. Really good flavor on the root beer image candy. That might be a favorite. Damn. Oh, shit. We got some Easter candy. I ordered some special Easter candies. Uh, the Marshmallow Fruit Assortment. This is a fun looking candy. Bunch of different colors. I think blue is blueberry. Red is cherry. Yellow is banana. And green is watermelon. I like how they... Uh, Swapped the the two back and forth there at the at the end of the label, trying to trying to trigger somebody. See the colors in one column except for the watermelon. One of these things is not like the other. Which which one should I try? I think it's gonna be whichever one is on top. I don't want to finger them all. Raising little banana. Oh, I already touched that one. It's a little bird. I think. Oh, it's a little bunny. Sorry, my bad. Mmm. I like banana candy. I like banana candy a lot. And that hits. I want more of that. I want more banana candy. I want I want more banana candy. Wow. These candies are made different than the image candies. These candies are put through the, the roller thing. And then after they they harden, they break them apart. And a bunch of these little images are, not images, but little shapes are what's left. I really like the, the taste of this. I don't know, is it marshmallow flavor? Like, I don't know where the marshmallow part comes from, but these are delicious. This video could be zero to diabetes in 30 minutes. Goddamn. This is a lot of sugar. This is a lot of sugar for one video. Not gonna lie. This is a lot of sugar. Oh my God. All right, next one. There's two more after this. Holy shit. All right, these, oh shit. These are fucking mushrooms. These are mushroom candies they, I don't know where I picked up the accent. Let's get rid of it. Let's get rid of the accent. Let's iron that out. Let's iron out the accent. We got candy cap mushroom drop candy. Yeah, so these are actually made flavored with actual mushrooms. So like these little mushrooms are supposed to taste like caramel and maple syrup or some shit like that but it's actual real mushroom flavoring and you can see the little flecks of mushroom in the candy let's try it it definitely tastes like mushrooms i can definitely taste the mushroom it definitely tastes like maple syrup like i can taste the maple flavor Mm. These are really neat. Oh, the texture. Mm. Oh, God. You ever use lava 
hand soap, like those bars of soap where it's got like the gritty material. That's what this becomes. It becomes like a little candy with little, it's like a sanding sponge for washing your hand. Not for masturbating, but great for getting your hands clean. Not masturbating though. Oh, wow. I'm like moving around my mouth really fast. It's like a little sanding ball. It's like scratching the roof of my mouth. Tongue. This is wild. I don't think a lot of people would taste mushrooms. I taste them because I know that they're there. But in a blind taste test, I don't know that I would taste them. This is weird. I want to. I want to. I want to taste test my family with these. So update on the blind taste test. I taste tested my 18 <laughs> year old daughter. Wild. Uh, that sounded weird. Um, Wild. I gave her the candy without her knowing what flavor it was, and she thought it tasted like brown sugar. She thought it was fine. She was okay with it, but she wanted to know what flavor it was. And then when I told her that it was mushroom flavored, oh, I think I hurt she, myself. God. Yeah, these things are dangerous. She she immediately spit it out. She's like, I don't want any more because she, once she learned it, it was mushroom, she thought it was gross. My wife tried it and she also didn't like it, but she also knew that it was mushrooms and she knew that my kid didn't like it. So I think she was preconceived, like, like not like the thing. I think they're all right. Wild. It tastes like mushrooms. They're was that hair on the candy or was that hair on my finger? But yeah, they're, they're pretty good. Either way, yeah, would buy them again. Ten out of ten. Would buy again on the mushrooms. Those are cool. Those are cool. All right, the last one, or not the last one, but the second to last one. The last one is my favorite, and I think it's going to be your favorite too, although it's a Patreon only. The last one's a Patreon only. Uh, this one, Easter Images. I'm going to show you a couple of these. Look at this. Look at all these, look at all these candy trophies here. Oh, these smell wonderful. They have the flavors. Oh, yeah, I think each one is a different flavor. Some have little eggs. Some have little little birds, little chicks. Here's a little chick. That is so cute. Here's a couple little eggs. These must be so fun to make. Uh, I want to go there, and I want to make candy with this guy one of these days. Hmm. What a wonderful flavor. Tastes like Easter. It's like a, a fruity, marshmallowy kind of flavor. Like, almost reminds me of the Tutti Fruity, but with that... Marshmallow flavor. Oh, fuck, I'm already chewing it. I love that rush of citric acid. You good? Mm. Damn. Speaking of citric acid. This next one is a Patreon only, so you have to be supporting Greg on Patreon to get this. And it is the Blue Raspberry Sours. Uh, these things are epic, man. Uh, there's a big backstory behind these things. I'm not going to try to tell it, tell it to you because I'll probably get it wrong and I don't want to make anybody mad. They're very much like the Altoid Sours that were famous and went away. Uh, I bought the cherry limeade version of these on my last run, and they were wonderful. Look at these beautiful little candies. Great shape, covered with citric acid. The texture or the shape of this candy holds a lot of the citric acid. So when you put these in your mouth, it's like a fucking walk a bam of sour, but only for a second, and then it goes sweet. So, let's do it. Whoa. Fuck. It's like... 
when you first put it in your mouth, you think it's a warhead. It has a, like, that flash of sour, like those sour warheads, you know? I think it's one of those. But pretty quick, like before your brain can even react, like before your saliva glands flood your mouth, the sour goes away. But the saliva glands do, in fact, flood your mouth from all that sour. These are banging. These are banging. These are better than the cherry limeade. These are fucking awesome. May not share those with the family unless they're outside listening through the door right now. Yeah. Wow. That's really good. That's really good. I don't know which one's my favorite, but wow, I'm really happy with, with everything that I've tried so far. Hell yeah. Uh, anyway, this has been a fun video. Uh, fun tasting the candy. i uh, big fan of Lofty Pursuits, so go check them out if you're into candy. And uh, let me know what you think in the comments. Thanks for watching. Peace.